This podcast is part of the Bomb Pod Media Network. From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode of Daily Dose of Weird News is sponsored by Food for the Poor. All this month, I'm asking you to join me in raising funds to feed children and families who are literally dying of starvation and thirst. My goal is to raise $1,000 before December 1st, and I've already put in the first 50 bucks. Can you at least match that? You can learn more by clicking the Give Life banner at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Research shows that as little as half a drink every other day is enough to reduce the risk of a heart attack. So a drink every day would be better then, right? Hey, yeah, g- hand me another Guinness! A New Jersey woman was rescued after falling into a septic tank and being trapped for three hours. They're keeping her identity private so that relatives will still hug her on Thanksgiving. Renowned physicist Stephen Hawking predicts that the world's mounting population will consume enough energy to render the world a ball of fire within 600 years. Good thing I purchased the extended warranty on our new air conditioner. The scientist claims that he's performed the first human head transplant on a corpse. So far, the patient hasn't complained one little bit. A poll says one in three Americans will avoid talking politics over Thanksgiving. Then there are those who stir things up by asking, would you like white or alt-white meat? A 22-year-old Norwegian student has been handed a $30,400 fine for drunken driving. But don't feel too bad for her. Katharina G. Andresen is reportedly Norway's richest woman, with a fortune estimated by Forbes at $1.23 billion. As it works out, Norway determines DUI fines based on the defendant's income. I guess she's getting off easy then. A local newspaper reported that Oslo City Court said the penalty could have been up to $4.9 million if based on Andersen's assets, but they have not yielded any dividend yet and she has no fixed income. So this is like a HUD housing concept only for drunk driving tickets. A woman driving on the freeway near Santa Barbara, California lost control of her car and crashed it. Fortunately for her, the person driving behind her pulled over and pulled her out of the car to safety, staying with her until paramedics arrived. That other driver? Harrison Ford. You can burn more calories when you're working out with someone else, but it can't be just anyone. It has to be someone whom you perceive to be physically better than you. Translation, the key to motivation in physical activity may be feeling inadequate. Researchers from Kansas State University found that when women exercised with a teammate they thought was better, they increased their workout time and intensity by as much as 200 percent. So I should be burning calories like crazy then, because I am inadequate compared to everybody. Declawing your house cat is now prohibited in Denver. In other news, there has been a dramatic uptick of emergency room visits in Denver by house cat owners. A new poll says that consumers plan on spending an average of $862 on Christmas gifts this year. Uh, hey, let me know if uh, you'd like a copy of my Christmas wish list. Oh, so you want to see Santa, huh? Well, do you have an appointment? Believe it or not, that is what shoppers will be asked this year at Macy's flagship store on 34th Street in New York City. For the first time ever, sitting on Santa's lap is by appointment only a move that Macy's says is to cut down wait times and make it easier to see the jolly old elf. Starting this week, eager families can go online to sign up for a time slot from 30 minutes to 5 days in advance. No walk-ins are allowed. Santa's a popular guy, so the wait times to meet him have been quite long in previous years, especially on Macy's busiest days. Santa Land is a 13,000-square-foot North Pole village complete with live elves and a train display, plus a world-famous Santa immortalized in the film Miracle on 34th Street. The store opened in 1902. The department store says families can cancel a reservation and make a new one at any time. Although, sounds like you might be better off just sending a letter this year, kids. The Federal Reserve says the average U.S. household is $137,000 in debt one of those few areas in life where it's good to be below average. 
Get the Daily Dose of Weird News podcast for Apple or Android at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And please leave a review on iTunes if you like the show. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you after the Thanksgiving Day weekend, weirdos. Bolt your doors, lock your windows, turn off your lights, and come with me into the weird darkness. I'm Darren Marlar, the creator and host of Weird Darkness, bringing you true stories of the paranormal, supernatural, unsolved, and unexplained. Get the podcast at WeirdDarkness.com or search for Weird Darkness in your favorite podcast app.